Hello guys, welcome to Katarna Kimmy channel. In this video, we will be discussing a very very bad news regarding the HR1044 S386 pill. So please do watch until the end. In this video, I will be explaining you about the status, the final update on this HR1044 S386 bill and uh, unfortunately it's failed, it's expired and it's dead right now. So what's gonna happen next? So we'll be discussing all those details in this video. So please do watch until the end. If you are here for the first time or if you have not subscribed yet, please do subscribe to Katarnak Mi channel for information and entertainment related videos. <laughs> The official wait time is over. So the S386 HR1044 is officially dead right now. We were, as you know, like last Friday, the Congress session has been extended until the Monday uh, to discuss on uh, coronavirus relief packages as well as the omnibus bill. And so many people were expecting if either of those bills could have included the language about uh, the S386, uh, the most awaited bill, S386 HR1044 bill. But unfortunately, uh, the results came out uh, uh, like two days ago and I did not have uh, time to make a video. But uh, unfortunately, there is no language in the legislative text released by the Congress, by the Congress on these omnibus or coronavirus relief packages. They are still working on the coronavirus relief package though, but uh, it's uh, official right now. So we have no hope. Uh, the bill is completely dead. So whatever the advantages that we discussed in the one of my previous video, none of them go, none of them is gonna happen. But at this time, I really want to appreciate uh, if you have already reached out to your local congressman or woman to support this bill, uh, because that might have at least helped out uh, in getting this drafted into the bill. But but unfortunately, yeah, it's it's dead, it's expired, and it's no more. So different people were asking questions since it's passed this is the first time i mean why why like everyone was waiting for this like why there is a lot of hope why there was uh, so much uh, speculation analysis around this because in several years back this bill has passed only in either house or senate so this was the first time that we came really 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 close to be to become uh, you know to become that as a law we, there, there was high chances that this bill could have become a law because it it got passed in both house and senate the, the only disadvantage was it did not got it did not get passed in the same form so that was the issue so it, it got to go to uh, into the house back and then it has to be reintroduced and get this signed so uh, the problem could be like uh, so many people i have uh, visited different immigration websites and channels the reason or the poison pill that they are listing out is mainly uh, the language that was included for the Chinese Communist Party. Basically, they said that they will not approve any adjustment of status or uh, any any H-1B or whatever, the, all those related to the people who are related with the Chinese Communi Communist Party. So it's pretty common that most of the Chinese are related in some fashion to this party. So that could have that could be one of the reason this bill did not get re reintroduced in house and get that passed. The second thing could be more restrictions on the H1B. If you don't know what I'm discussing about, I'll be posting the video uh, in the above cards or in the descriptions. Please do watch it. So if this, gil, if this bill gets passed as a law, uh, there were some restrictions, especially the 50-50 rule uh, uh, for the H1B employers. So this bill got passed and it became a law. Those those things do not those things looks like a disadvantage, but they were really real advantages. So, but again, everyone has their own opinion, and uh, again, uh, as I have been through, uh, as I have as I have been going through my comments, I did understand that this thing. Uh, so many people had questions that this bill will be supported. This if this bill becomes a law, it will be only uh, helpful for few people. But trust me, it 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 would have definitely used for everyone. Every bill cannot satisfy 100% people. So compared to the current situation, it would have a lot better, better, better than what we are currently facing right now. I wouldn't say it as best, but it would have at least been better when compared to the current situation if this bill would have become a law. So that was my opinion, but again, everyone has uh, different opinions, contradicting opinions, whatnot, but anyways, 
but anyways uh, when we come to when we come back to our topic the bill is officially dead so some people were asking like so since it got passed in house and senate isn't it that easy you know so that it can get reintroduced and get passed again in house and senate the answer is no it would be really really complex it it looks like easy but no that's not going to happen because the new administration is going to jump into the congress sessions uh, from uh, the first week of january so there will be different people that will be joining house and senate and that might have a negative effect or that might that will definitely have an effect of uh, this bill becoming get passed uh, this bill passing in house or senate and also the the bill to come into the house actually it needs to go to the several steps it needs to go to the uh, it needs to go through several steps prior to becoming as a bill in the house it simply looks like a bill getting passed in house or senate but not that there was there is a lot of background work that happens before even that becomes as a bill uh, to get into the eligibility criteria or to get into the house calendar or senate calendar there is a committee subcommittee hearing there are a lot of lot of things that happen before it even becomes uh, eligible for becoming as a bill so it is really really a uh, complex uh, process so that uh, unfortunately that has to be uh, reintroduced again and we don't know if this even if this thing even be, will become as a bill or uh, to get uh, to get discussed in the house or senate so let's hope that will happen and uh, maybe there might be uh, some language changes regarding the chinese communist party or uh, the h1b restrictions that i was discussing about so they might have they might amend few changes and that might give some hope to get this uh, bill as a reintroduced in house or senate so let's hope that happens and i wish it gets it gets passed in house and senate soon and it would become a law for various advantages and disadvantages anyways uh, this is what i wanted to discuss in this video if you did like this video please give a thumbs up if you did not like this video please dislike it and provide your valuable feedback in comments and also if you have any questions please put them in the comments i'll be more than happy to answer your questions have a nice day guys bye